y'all. <clears throat> So I was just talking with a friend and he was telling me that he recently had a panic attack and um, <clears throat> he had went, when he went to the doctors, they gave him Xanax for his panic attack and he, you know, talked to me about it because I just went through this. I've been going through it for the last 11 years and at the Meadows, that's all they teach. Hey, at the so I just wanted to do a scope on it because I was just going to make him a private scope, but I thought that this could benefit everyone. So, um, my first panic attack, I was in Vegas. I was in Vegas for my first one and in San Francisco for my second one. And after my second one, that's when I went to the ER. And because it was like legit, it feels like you're having a heart attack. For any of you that have had one, you know. For anyone that hasn't had one, in case this ever happens to you, you're going to know what to do. Okay. So I was, and I'm going to do the San Francisco one because this is the one that got me to the hospital. So I'm in bed reading a book, and all of a sudden, I started to feel this overwhelming sense of panic. The first thing when you start feeling a lot of panic is what do you do? <sighs> You're gonna hyperventilate. Don't do that. Whatever you do, keep your breathing regulated. Because if you do <sighs> like that, you are gonna send your body into such a shock of adrenaline and just pure shock, you can't do that. So you have to keep your breath normal in through your nose out through your mouth this will make it so that the rest of your panic attack might not happen this could make it so you don't even have a panic attack if you feel it coming on you do deep breaths and you want to make sure that your chest is as open as possible oh for sure for sure chad so make sure that your chest is as open as possible and then breathe all the way in and if you're sitting down go ahead and stand up or make sure that you sit all the way upright and have it completely open that's the most important thing make sure you don't breathing wrong but you're you're gonna want to because you're feeling it feels weird it feels so weird. You could be, your body could be tingling. It feels like you're having a heart attack. Your body's tingling, your chest is pumping, and you're thinking to yourself, you don't know what's wrong, but all you wanna do is get out of wherever you are. It's so scary, it's so freaky. And breathing is the number one thing to do. Breathing will regulate your body back. And even if it doesn't, you will be okay. You can get through your panic attack. You. I mean, you can't go to the ER every time. I understand for people's first time going to the ER, but if you do continue to have panic attacks, this is what you do. And then another thing that you should do is get in. If you have a panic attack, Xanax is not the answer. You have to figure out what is happening in your body because something is triggering back here that happened in your mind in the, oh, I wish I could remember the name of it, but back here, the brain stem, it's like the most animalistic part of the brain. It sends something to your mind that says that something is wrong, that's putting you in danger. The amygdala, I can't even say it, but that thing back there, it sends messages to your mind that says that something is going on. So I'm not necessarily ditching Western medicine. I mean, definitely if you need to get on antidepressant, I mean, you can talk about all these things with your therapist, but what you don't want to get on is a controlled substance. And then another thing that I carry with me in my purse now, and I, because I read this really good anxiety packet, this is my sheet of what I wrote down for a panic attack. So you wanna write down a few things for if you start having one of what to do. And this is mine. I'm going to be okay. Oh, I'm going to be okay. I can leave here if I want to. I don't need meds. I can get through this. I am safe. 
And I think this last one is the most important thing to remember. And it's also important to remember, I can leave here, or I can leave, it's terrible handwriting, right? Terrible handwriting. Um, that reminds me. Okay, so another thing is when you're gonna have a panic attack if you're out in public, because this is another time you start getting a crazy amount of panic. You're like, then you start having panic about your panic attack. And once you've had a panic attack, then you have anxiety around having a panic attack. So the panic attacks cause a whole bunch of anxiety and panic in of themselves. When is my next one going to come? How is it going to happen? Thanks, Chad. How is it going to happen? What's, what's going to go on? And so a very important thing to do is affirmations. Is so while you're tell yourself out loud and what this does is it reprograms your mind so if you tell yourself I'm I have panic attacks now I'm I, I'm prone to panic attacks I could I'm gonna need to go to the hospital if I have a panic attack you're gonna start to believe that your your mind is gonna form I forget the technical name of these but it literally forms these things in your mind and when you tell yourself positive affirmation it unhooks those and you create no, new affirmations synopsis thank you it creates new ones so if you tell yourself before you're having a panic attack you're in the grocery store grocery store you can tell yourself I'm going to be okay I'm going to be the same one over and over and over I'm gonna be okay I'm gonna be okay I'm, it can be just that simple I'm going to be okay 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 I'm gonna be fine I'm gonna be fine I'm gonna be fine I'm gonna be fine and you literally it because what do we do instead? It sounds silly to do positive ones, but it, you were doing negative ones in our head. If you think about what you're saying to yourself during a panic attack, what are you saying? Oh my God, I'm not okay, I'm not okay, I'm not okay, I'm not okay. That's what you're telling yourself. So it may seem silly to do a positive one, but it's not because we're just combating whatever our mind naturally wants to do, which is to go to the negative. So I'm trying to think if those are all of them. And yeah, Chad, like you were saying about taking like shallow breaths or whatever, it's amazing how much we do not realize that we're not breathing. So I think those are the biggest ones. Those are definitely the biggest ones. I know I'm going to end this and I'm going to be like, I'm forgetting something. But those are the biggest ones. And definitely go to therapy because that's coming from somewhere. There's an underlying root cause reason. There aren't just the most healthy people in the world that are getting panic attacks out of nowhere for no reason. It's just not like that. <laughs> Chad, yeah, you have a good support system. You have an amazing girlfriend that would go to CBT with you. That's great. That's a great start. So that's all that's all the tapping does help oh that's another thing okay so I thought of two more thank you I knew I was gonna think so this is I forget what this is called but when you tap yourself or also you do this thing and then wherever your finger lands right here and then you start tapping the top of your head basically what this does is bring you back in touch with your body or like whatever you have close to you that has a cool texture so like if I'm walking in the mall and I feel it coming on I can just do this with my purse and I can like feel the leather and I can just feel the threading and I can feel the quilting and all of that or the chain I can just go like this with the chain Ooh, that's a good one that's a good feeling right there and it really just helps recenter yes touch sensation recenter and focus our body on what's going on this looks kind of dirty um, so that, and then what was the other one I was going to say? I think that was touch, tapping. Can we look for something like, yeah. <laughs> we thank you for that. <laughs> Ron, oh my gosh, I've had a heart attack and a panic attack. Heart attack is easier. Oh. Okay, sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. All right, what's another one? I feel, I, I know I have another one. Stop, I know, I'm bad, I'm bad. I can't think of another one. Just talking, even though talking is the last thing you wanna do, when you think you're gonna have a panic attack like oh my god I can't no don't talk to me and someone's trying to say you're gonna be okay and you're like I don't want to listen I don't want to listen I'm freaking out I'm too busy freaking out to listen to you don't do that 
stay open to whoever's trying to talk to you because the more you stay in here and get in your head while you're getting ready to have a panic attack, the worse it's going to be. Stay open, stay focused on all of your touching sensations, listening to someone, all of that. Stay present. Oh my gosh, Hizzy, I'm so sorry. And here's Mike with, okay, how y'all doing? Chocolate hearts. Or colored. <laughs> oh no, I can't say, I cannot say the, the word colored and southern accent at the same time. It just doesn't sound right to me. This is not sitting well. There's Abby. Abby's laughing at my joke. They going up her shirt. Oh, you're welcome, Chad. Okay, I'm going to go. Thanks, guys. All right. Bye.